children i am again back to your real classroom if people do not appreciate your presence make them appreciate your absence in other words or to be more specific we value a person in his or her absence friends i am not going to deliver a speech on the philosophy of relationship but certainly the relationship among the words of a sentence so let's see how we feel the absence of some words in a sentence friends please read these two sentences in sentence number 1 you see the pen is the book in sentence number 2 the pen is my head you see the pen is the book and the pen is my head how dangerous the meaning is because of the absence of some words missing of some words in these sentences actually what is the meaning of these two sentences the sender wanted to tell you that yes this is the book and here is the pen and he wanted to tell you that the pen is on the book the word on is missing so you see the meaning the pen is the book how is it possible and in second sentence you see the meaning the sender wanted to tell you the meaning itself is that the pen is on my head so when the on is missing the word on is missing you see the pen is my head how dangerous the meaning is so we understand the value of these words in their absence let's go back again to these two sentences the pen is on the book and the pen is on my head now you get the complete sense of these two sentences these missing words on is a preposition friends in our class today we shall discuss about the definition of preposition about the position of preposition thirdly the main or important functions of preposition and finally the types of preposition so before we go to the definition of preposition let's study these examples in example number 1 you see there is a ball on the table in two the cat is fond of milk the man jumped off the balcony and in example number 1 you see the preposition that is used here is on and what is the function of on here what on does here na on builds up a relationship between the table and a ball so a ball is a noun and the table is a noun so here you see it is building a relationship between two nouns come to the example number 2 you see here of is the preposition and what is the relationship it builds up here na it builds the relationship between fond and milk milk is a noun and fond is an adjective so sometimes it also builds the relationship between adjective and noun and in sentence number 3 you see the preposition is of and it builds the relationship between the balcony and jumped and balcony is here again a noun and jump it is a verb so here it builds a relationship between noun and verb so what is the definition of a preposition a preposition tells us the relationship 
of a noun or pronoun with the rest of the words in a sentence it may be a noun it may be an adjective it may be also a verb next let's go to the position of preposition there is a debate on the position of preposition because you know preposition the word pre then position is there as you know pre means before so usually we use the prepositions before a noun or pronoun that's why some say that its name is preposition because it is used before the noun or pronoun no my dear friends my dear children it's not a fact sometimes the prepositions are used at the end of a sentence and sometimes also preposition is used in the beginning of a sentence please go through the sentences very carefully when object of the preposition is an interrogative pronoun that is what who whom which where the preposition takes and or the front position you may study the examples what are you thinking of then you see when object of the preposition is relative pronoun that is that the position takes and position for example here is the magazine that you asked for in example number 3 you see this is good hotel to stay at here object of the preposition is infinitive to plus the first position of the verb the preposition is placed after the infinitive and in fourth example you see in some sentences relative pronoun is hidden this is the house i live in i have already given in bracket the relative pronoun where is hidden actually with relative pronoun the sentence is this is the house where i live in in fifth example you see in some miscellaneous sentences where preposition is attached with a verb for example i had being laughed at and in the last example you see my dear students in some cases the preposition comes in the beginning these are usually interrogative sentences in which class do you read or to whom were you talking from these examples we came to know that the position of preposition may be just before the noun or pronoun it may be in the beginning of a sentence or it may be placed at the end of the sentences don't be confused then let's move to the function of preposition which is very important before we learn the use of preposition we must know the basic functions of preposition you may see these examples now i have my class at 2 pm today she the preposition is at and what is the function of preposition here here you see the preposition at it talks about the time 2 pm so the basic function here is the time it talks about the time we shall meet at the gate in sentence number 2 here also you see the preposition is at and now here it's not about the time it's about the gate and gate is a place here it talked about the place then you see in the sentence number 3 you came from boys hostel by using the word from here you see we talk about a direction from 
boys hostel you came so here it told you about the lyrics so when we are going to use the prepositions we must know that why do we use the prepositions basically there are three functions one is the time the second one is place and the third one is the direction finally we shall move to the types of preposition friends usually we have four types of prepositions and they are simple simple preposition compound preposition phrasal preposition and participle preposition i have prepared a slide for you please go through this slide and you can easily understand these four types of prepositions the first one is called a simple preposition in the category of simple preposition we find at in for from of of on out till to up with through down by etc these are the most commonly used prepositions and in the second category that is in the category of compound prepositions these are usually formed by prefixing a preposition to a noun an adjective or an adverb and the examples are here about along among allowed beside below beneath between beyond inside outside within without underneath and the third one is the phrasal prepositions these are found by joining two or more words for example along with because of by means of for the sake of in favor of in addition to in case of in course of with reference to in place of in spite of etc and participle prepositions when present participles are used without any noun or pronoun attached to them these are called participle prepositions such most commonly used present participles are concerning pending regarding considering touching during etc my dear friends in most of the cases we get confused while using prepositions do you know the use of at at there are 18 different types of use of at in different sentences when we talk about the different times of a day in the evening but on monday evening at night so there are some basic rules of preposition and we shall discuss these basic rules in a very simple manner in the next class please wait in the next class i shall come with some basic principles of preposition take care bye bye that's all for today's class hope you like this video please do like comment share and subscribe and yes don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified thank you